Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for September 8th. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. This is not a private reading. This is a general reading. This is just uh, energy that I'm picking up on. Um, yeah, so the first thing I saw was the Two of Wands, and it felt as though somebody is thinking about their next step. You know, what's my next step? What is my next step? What am I going to do now? That kind of thing. So that's that's what we got here. It's like there's a whole the whole big 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 world out there. What am I going to do next? What's my next step? Um, it's like somebody uh, sees a bigger opportunity, or they get this opportunity, this new passionate opportunity, and now they have to think about it. It's the moment of decision, right? Um, and it's like it's unexpected. It's like you, now you're faced with some unexpected decision, and it's a challenge. It's a challenge to make this decision. Um, you know, are you, what are you going to do? What, that's the question. What am I going to do now? Um, then, you know, I hate to say this, but then I saw the tower. So this, that's a life change. Something major. There's a major change here. It's like, like now all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, it is all of a sudden. Okay. All of a sudden there's like a change in direction and it's like, okay, what do I do now? So that is what I have. So I don't know if something happens on the 7th that uh, brings about this question of what I do, what am I going to do now, or it happened, you know, a few days ago, or it's about to happen, or something, but there's something that is about to change your direction, you know, or maybe you had plans, you know, you had some certain, some certain plans, and now everything changes, I, I, whatever that means, I don't know. We're going to start, we're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and then we're going to use this deck right here. This reading is not sign specific, so I just wanted to let you know. Um, some people comment, what sign is this for? This is not for any specific sign. This reading may or may not be for you. There's definitely a new opportunity that is being presented, and it's it's unexpected. I just saw the Four of Cups, like, <laughs> spontaneously, just now. So this, is, But it's the Four of Cups reversed. So... It's like there's an opportunity here, and it looks like it's, you know, it could be emotionally fulfilling, or it affects your emotions in some way, and it's like you you can take it or not, and that is what we got here. Um, so what do we got for the eighth? Definitely a challenge. It is. There's a challenge of, oh, what's next? What am I going to do now? What should I do now, now that this opportunity has presented itself to me? And it, you know, it looks like it's a good opportunity, but you might have to change your plans to accept it. So whatever that means. Now, oh no, now I saw the Knight of Cups. So I don't know what that is. Um, there could be an offer of love coming in. There could be like a relationship that is starting or something. I don't know what this is, but uh, be careful. <laughs> oh. Attachment, attachment. So somebody is bound, you see the chain, somebody is bound to something, um, and now we have a conflict, because fives can be conflicts, change, um, a struggle, some sort of power struggle, you know, somebody probably has to break free from something, um, detach, somebody is attached to something, or they may, and they need to detach, they need to detach, Now you can choose to uh, accept, you can choose to wear a mask and deny, or you can choose to take that mask off and see things for as they are, however that resonates with you. We got somebody here that um, is truly stuck, truly, truly stuck here. And it looks as though there, there must be an opportunity to break free, to detach from something. There must be an opportunity here, you know. Um, hmm. Now, fives are, are a sign of personal freedom. So there, there's an opportunity to break free from something. 
Six of Wands. This is lack of confidence. Six of Wands reversed. Lack of confidence. No progress being made. Not being recognized. Lack of recognition. Somebody definitely is going to be going through a period of reevaluation. Thinking about leaving or not. Should I go or should I stay? Should I stay attached or should I detach? What should I do now? Uh, definitely thinking. Confused. We have somebody here that doesn't know what to do next. And now we got a lot of options here. There, it's like there's a lot of options. And we have somebody here that doesn't really know what to do next. Absolutely. This is a moment, you know, a complex decision. Do I progress forward or do I stay? <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah. Do I, do I uh, try to c control this or do I go with the flow? Somebody is clinging to control. Allowing themselves to be attached to something. Perhaps that's what it looks like to me. What did, what is my purpose? What is the purpose of this? That's that's what this is. Somebody is confused as to why. Why is this happening? Why is this happening now? Why is this happening now? Now that I have a plan, that's what this seems to be. Um, you can't, you know, somebody is not needs to not fight what is meant to be. It looks to me as like somebody is really stuck. Absolutely, somebody is stuck. Oh my goodness. This is reluctant to take a new approach. Probably overthinking. Somebody may be staying in a troubled situation that they need to leave behind because they don't have confidence. You know, there's, there's definitely a lack of confidence here with the Six of Wands reversed. And there's some emotional disappointment that somebody has been dealing with with the Six of Swords reversed. It is, the Two of Wands is a moment of decision. And that's the first card I saw. And this Seven of Cups is a complex decision. It's like there's options here. There's, there, it's like there, there, there's choice. There's another choice. There is another choice. But you have to choose wisely because this is, there's consequences. There's consequences for the decisions that you make. So I feel like we have somebody here that is contemplating, you know, what is the best choice for me at this time, right? This may be out of your control. You know, it's like there's this change now that has presented itself to you that is out of your control. Maybe somebody is feeling like they are stuck out and it's out of their control, um, we have this King of Cups here and the Tower, which I was pretty sure about anyway. So this is a false sense of security. This is the, your life change that I was talking. Somebody is like blocking. They're, they're trying to resist this life change. It looks like we have an offer of love here. It's like all of a sudden somebody is open to their heart. It doesn't matter what the sign is. Somebody has opened their heart. They've presented some sort of love or they're coming forward with love. And now there's some sort of disruption. Disruption of the plan. It's like, that wasn't part of the plan. This is this is a universe card and this is a universe card. Well, the universe knows the plan, right? You know, free will plays a part, but there is a universal plan. So it's like all of a sudden there's this, this love situation that is in the middle and it's not part of the plan. This is absolutely not part of the plan. Okay. Um, ooh, somebody that you have known before. This is uh, reminiscing. This is um, re reevaluating. Uh, I mean, six, six, six. This is about reevaluating love. You know, where does love? What does love got to do with this? Huh. Think about that song. What has love got to do with this? It's like I didn't see this. Why? Why? Why is it? Why is this happening? This is like a why. This is a why. I know it is. Um, so there is. I think there's a, a some sort of past connection that is um, bringing about some sort of memories or bringing about some feelings of love here. Okay. Um, 
there could be a reconnection with somebody that you uh, have connected with in the past. And, you know, there's an opportunity to either accept this or move forward. You know, this this is a very complex decision. And I think it's it's definitely sudden, okay? It's very sudden. There's a sudden uh, change of plans that was not expected. And now it's a time of reevaluation. 666 is about reevaluation. It's about um, the journey. It's the journey to happiness. You know, what journey do you want to take? What road do you want to take? Where do you want to go? So this is what we got here. I think we have somebody here that has their mind made up or they had their mind made up. And now something has pre presented themselves to them them that is you know causing a disruption to the plan a disruption to the plan um, there's definitely an offer of love here there's love here there's there's love okay there is love I feel um, <laughs> relationship this is a relationship happiness celebrating having fun Socializing. Leaving. This is being left behind. It's like perhaps there has been somebody that um, has left another person behind. In the past. In the past. Left behind somebody in the past. And there could be some sort of reunion. This is a reunion. This is a very sudden situation. It is very sudden. There's this sudden change of events. This is fate and this is fate. Okay? It's like fate steps in and changes the plan. With the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who wasn't looking for love. And it's like now somebody has come forward or somebody has stepped into the picture and there is an opportunity for love and now you know I feel like we have somebody here that is all the, it's like all of a sudden there's an opportunity for a relationship that you didn't see coming so hmm. there is some sort it feels like there's a past life attachment here okay there's some sort of bond okay with the chain there's some sort of bond and now now that this has come into focus now that this this situation has uh shown up it's like i'm not i don't know what to do i don't know what to do it's it maybe somebody with you know the six of swords is somebody was you know moving forward somebody was not looking back and now all of a sudden this is in front of them and it's like what now i'm stuck now i'm stuck again so this you know i really feel as though the challenge is is about uh, do I keep moving forward or do I go back? <laughs> do I do I change my plans? Do I change my plans? This is a very sudden change of events. So somebody is going to be presented with a complex decision because there's some sort of offer of love or there's some sort of feelings that come into play. The Six of Cups, this is a very, this is like a soulmate connection. There is a, there's a feeling of love here. There is, there is. There's a feeling of love or feelings, deep feelings, okay? Um, some sort of reunion, some sort of um, unexpected reunion, perhaps. And I think that in the past, there's been some sort of, of abandonment, okay? Somebody may have abandoned, abandoned ship at some point, or they may have ghosted, or there may have been a period of time where there was no communication or something like that, which caused a person to decide to move on and to not look back. But now, all of a sudden, things change. And that is what I see. So I feel like we have somebody here that all of a sudden gets stuck. It's like, damn, why? Why now? So that this is this is what I see for the eighth. I feel as though we have somebody that may be reuniting. Okay, this is a reunion with somebody that they are 
soulfully connected to. And this doesn't have to be an X. Okay, yes, this can be, this card's going to have to be shown, I believe, because it's, it's, I'm going to have to show it. I think this is something, there's some sort of reunion here with somebody that you are, this is fate, okay? Somebody that you are meant to uh, deal with at this time, okay? Th and this could be starting over, starting with a clean slate with this person, okay? And I see the reluctance here. This is like, there's reluctance to... Um, accept this offer. There's reluctance to even think about it, but I think that somebody is absolutely going to be thinking about it. It's going to be heavy on their mind. Um, oh, God. The Queen of Pentacles. So this person is very knows their value. This person has something valuable in her hand. This person is... Um, very nurturing, very motherly, very capable, very devoted. This person, um, I'm going to put that right here. This person doesn't know what she wants. This person is, is looking away. This person is like, you know, I have so much to offer. I'm so stable. I'm so solid. I'm so secure. I'm not sure if I want a relationship. I'm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm good. I got everything I need right here, but I feel like this person has also manifested something because there's some, that's the, that's the Ace of Pentacles, it's a golden opportunity, it's like, I got a golden opportunity, this person has a golden opportunity in her hand, and I feel as though she may not see it coming. This person has her back turned on a relationship, her back turned on the past, and it has to do with abandonment. It's like this person's, I'm so good on my own. I don't, this person isn't even looking for a relationship. They're not looking for anything like that. This person is focused on their pentacle. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their security. And then fate steps in and changes the plan. Please, God. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Good luck.